Hey makeup friends, today we're going to be taking a look at the new Bare Look Skin Tint from YSL. I've done a 13 hour wear test and I'm going to share with you my first impressions of this product. Let's get straight into it. As always, I want to start off by welcoming you back to my channel, or if you are new here, then hello and welcome. My name is Kara, and on my channel, we like to mix beauty, brains, and the occasional F-bomb. Now, I want to get straight into this product because, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm in love. Like, I am very, very impressed with this. I am going to show you the application. I have worn it for 13 hours at this point, so I feel like I've given it its fair shake. I'm really impressed with it. So let's just talk a little bit in terms of the information. I'm gonna show you some close-ups, show you some comparison swatches, the whole deal. Before we dive into it though, let me just give you a little bit of a rundown on my skin and what my preferences are when it comes to foundation. So I am 41 years old. I do have some fine lines and wrinkles beginning. I have gone into the Botox world fairly recently, so a lot of the deeper fine lines that I was dealing with, the less than fine, shall we say, a lot of those have been resolved, so I don't have nearly as much going on on my forehead or in between my eyes as I did a few weeks ago. But regardless, there still are some. I went on a very conservative road with my Botox. I didn't want to be frozen or artificial looking. I do still have movement in my face, all of that kind of stuff. So I feel like I can still give this a fair shake. Now, I also have very normal skin, so I do get a little bit drier as we progress into the winter months, but at this time of year, the dryness isn't an issue. I do use a daily moisturizer, so I still am caring for my skin in that way, but I don't deal with like dry patches or any flakiness, anything of that sort. And on the other end of the spectrum, I also don't deal with any oiliness, even if it's just throughout my T-zone. It's just not something that I've ever had to deal with. I also have very like non-reactionary skin. It's not particularly sensitive unless I'm talking about SPF and then my skin is like, ee, boo, hiss, don't like. I've only ever found one SPF that my skin just does not freak out about and that's the Kula one. So that's the one that I use. It also doubles as a moisturizer. So I kind of get the benefit of two in one there. But all that to say, I really don't have any concerns going into trying new products like this because my skin just doesn't tend to freak out over different products. So there's that. So in terms of my preferences, I look for a lighter to maybe medium coverage foundation. I do have some fuller coverage foundations in my collection, but they're just not something that I reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. I might save those for more like a date night or filming on YouTube, things of that sort. But when I'm getting ready for work, I am loving skin tints at this moment because I find that it's just a little bit more coverage than like a tinted moisturizer, but it's a step down from most foundations and it's just that right sweet spot for what I'm looking for. I just want things to just be evened out a little bit, even out the skin tone, just mask the minor imperfections, but still look very natural. So skin tints are right up my alley. So when I saw that YSL was coming out with one, I definitely wanted to try it. So this just arrived at Sephora here in Canada on August 10th. It is currently the 12th as I'm filming and it's not gonna be arriving in stores here in Canada at any rate until later in August. I believe it's August 27th, yes. So let me just actually, while I'm saying that, let me flip over to the US site and just see if you guys already have it in store or not. Yeah, so it looks like the arrival dates are going to be the same in Canada and in the US. So it is available online now but you're gonna to have to wait until August 27th if you wanna pick it up in person. It's available in 20 different shades, so there is a fairly good spectrum in there, and I do find that when you're dealing with a product like a skin tint, it is a little bit more flexible between shades, so you don't really have to be quite as specific, and I find that's probably why there's a smaller number of shade options available as opposed to their typical foundation ranges. The new Bare Look Tint from YSL is available in 20 shades and retails for $50 Canadian or $38 US. For that, you're receiving 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. It's a lightweight skin tint with hyaluronic acid and buildable light to medium coverage for a fresh, dewy complexion. The highlighted ingredients are hyaluronic acid, which visibly plumps and moisturizes the skin, glycerin to trap moisture and hydrate, 
and mallow to visibly brighten the skin. It's free of parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde releasing agents, phthalates, mineral oil, and a bunch of other stuff whose names I cannot pronounce. It also comes in recyclable packaging. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the product, let's travel back in time to the beginning of today and take a look at the application. All right, let's get into the application. So on my skin already, I have the Backstage Primer from Dior. I've talked about this before. I like to use this when I'm testing out new foundation products because it doesn't blur, it doesn't mattify, it doesn't like add any radiance to my skin. It just basically acts like a second layer of moisturization. So I find that it doesn't really alter how the foundation performs or how it looks on the skin, anything of that sort. So we're still gonna see how this foundation actually looks on the skin without the primer changing it. So now let's go ahead and apply the skin tint. So as you can see, straight out of the tube, it has the consistency of a foundation, like it's not particularly watery or runny. So we'll see what kind of coverage we're working with here. Oh, I just got it on my lip. <laughs> also, I'm not noticing any scent to it, which is actually kind of surprising because YSL likes to like infuse everything with that really like florally scent. I don't necessarily mind it, but it is usually very strong and I'm not, I'm not smelling anything with this product. I'm gonna buff that into the skin using an F80 Flat Top Kabuki from Sigma. I think I nailed the shade match on this one. I'm really pleased with that. I don't see any any differentiation between undertone, depth, anything like that. So shade five works perfectly for me. All right, so there we have it all applied. Now it says that this has a radiant finish, but not really I mean there's a little bit of glow going on I guess but I don't think it's like super glowy it's certainly nowhere to the degree of that Huda multi-dew skin tint nowhere near that level I just think it looks really natural on the skin this is the kind of finish that I like in a base product because it just it looks healthy but it's not like over the top so I really like this in terms of coverage I would definitely say it is on the lighter side I can still see the freckles across my nose and other little like spots on my face showing up, but everything looks just evened out, which again is something that I enjoy. And I don't mind my little freckles poking through like that doesn't bother me at all. If it did, I wouldn't go for a light coverage product. So I'm not surprised by the amount of coverage. Again, I think the shade match is like bang on for me and it's very, very lightweight. Now there is still a little bit of tackiness to it because I've just applied it, but in terms of the feel of it on the skin, there's nothing heavy, there's nothing greasy. I'm liking this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then we will check in, see if it's transferring, see how it's feeling, if it's settling into any fine lines, all that kind of stuff. So I'll be back momentarily. All right, so we've got all the makeup done. On my eyes, I'm wearing the new mini Xenon palette from Natasha Denona. I did film the look. I'm planning on doing like a three looks, one palette kind of video, uh, but we'll get into that on another day. Today, it's all about this new product from YSL, and I'm looking at it in the mirror, and it is sitting beautifully on my skin. Like, I don't see any creasing at all. It's not into the nose area in here. Those little lines up here, there's no crinkling in the foundation at all. It looks beautiful. Like I don't even see it on my skin. It's just like, this just looks like my skin just taken to the next level. So I'm really enjoying that. I'm gonna do a little bit of a transfer test. I did set it down with some RCMA no color powder and obviously I've done my full face of makeup so it's had a chance to dry down a little bit. So I've got the clean phone here. Just press that up to my face for just a few seconds, blah, 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 pretend I'm on the phone, hating every moment of it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so very little in the way of transfer. Very, very little. So that's pretty awesome. 
And again, I don't feel the foundation on my skin at all. There's no heaviness. It feels very breathable. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. Today's my last day of work before I'm off for like 10 days. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. But all that to say, I'm going to be very busy making sure that everything is put to bed before I leave. So I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to do a five hour update, but I will update at the end of the day just to see how it's worn. So I will check in then. All right, it is now the end of the day. It's been about 13 hours since I applied my makeup and I've got my new lens going on and Penelope the pineapple is back. Like lots of things have happened today. Anyways, this lens that I'm using, this is as zoomed out as it gets. So it can actually get like right up close and we can really take a look and see how this makeup has worn throughout the day. So let me just zoom you in. All right, so believe it or not, this isn't even as zoomed in as it will get. It will get to the point where like all you can really see is my eyeball, but that's a little overkill for our purposes today. So here we are. I've also got my lights down as low as they'll go. I've turned my side lights off, so it's just the ring light. So let's take it from the top and work our way down. So forehead, I've got my magnified mirror sitting in front of me. I am looking down at that. I'm not seeing any issues whatsoever. Like none whatsoever. Normally there's like some pooling of the product down here or it started to get like a little mottled across the forehead and I am just not seeing that with this one. It has worn beautifully across my forehead and like even where, now granted, okay, full disclosure, I've had Botox so a lot of those like lines that I was dealing with on my forehead have been resolved there's still a little bit going on. Like I still have some mobility and I like that. But even there, like the foundation hasn't like been creasing. There's no pooling of it. There's no, like there's no issues whatsoever. Let's, okay, we'll leave it at that. Very quickly though, this is that Natasha Denona mini Xenon palette. That has not held up all that well. Like... It really hasn't. All the matte shades have kind of blended into one kind of shade. You can see like in the crease where there's a lot of fading. That's not the point of this review, but it's just something to make note of. Okay, let's then look at this area. We're gonna ignore the under eyes because that would be a concealer issue. So let's just look across here. I don't see any problems. I, I genuinely don't see any issues. There might be like just like a little tiny bit in here. It's just kind of sitting on top of the skin now. But even like if I just flip it over to the regular side of the mirror, I can't see it. Like I have to be 10 times magnified and even at that like three inches away from my face in order to see any signs of wear across there. It has kind of disappeared around my nose and across the like upper lip. That doesn't surprise me because like throughout the day, if I rub my nose or if I wipe my mouth after I'm eating, it always gets disturbed around there. So that isn't a wear sign. I think that's just me like living my life. But going on to the other side, again, I'm not seeing any separation in the product. I'm not seeing any weird creasing down around the nose. Even across the nose, let's take a look. There's like a little bit of modeling around here and maybe a little bit on top of the nose. But again, if I'm looking at it from a normal distance, I'm not seeing that. And then lastly, if we just look in the chinular region, again, there's no pooling of the, the foundation. There's no like telltale signs of wear. This has worn beautifully throughout the day. I'm super impressed. Super impressed, but also like really super up close, so I need to back it out a little bit now. Well, there you have it, guys. I mean, I don't really have much else to say. I could continue to say just how impressed I am by this, but I'm hoping that that's already coming across. But if it's not, this new skin tint from YSL, I am so impressed by. I love the way it feels on my skin. I love how natural it looks on my skin. I sure as hell love how it's worn throughout the day. And not only was I going to work today, but I also took my son to soccer and it's hot as balls outside today. So there was some sweating. It wasn't all that pleasant. And yet it still held up beautifully. 
held up a hell of a lot better than the eyeshadow did, so there's that. I'm really impressed with this. This is one I can see myself reaching for over and over again. I'm very, very happy with this product. So with all that said, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I will see you in my next one. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.